I was in the States. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and in the States, I had the documents that I needed to stay in the States. And if I wanted to get more documents, it, is, it would be easier for me to get married to an American because I spoke English. Um, it would be a bit comfortable for me, also in America, to settle there. Um, maybe, and also, let's say, easier to find a job because I studied there. Mm. So if I was really looking for papers, Germany is not the direction to come. Nope. <laughs> the plan would, would have been to stay in America because everybody, most people are wanting to go to America. Even when I tell people that I came from America, they always ask me, why did you come to Germany? Why didn't you stay in America? You know, they always ask that question because my focus is more on the person that I spend my life with than on the location or on the paper. Yeah, it's true. It's a very dumb decision to choose to do something as permanent as marriage mm -hmm. just because you want paper. There are people who do it, of course. But what I'm saying is that it's not the majority, it's a minority. And what the media does is that it amplifies the minority mm -hmm. and makes you think or makes you feel that everybody does it. Yeah. That's the theory of it, you know? Yeah. And most people have opinions about Africans even without having ever visited Africa. Africa yeah. You've never visited any, any African country, but you feel you know a lot about Africans. And we have a lot of rich places in Africa. We have a lot of prosperity there, but the media doesn't pick that because it's not news. It's not because, interesting. Because we have NGOs that are making money from the publicity of the African poverty. And instead of creating job opportunities to increase the, the, the value of the country. economy or the country, yeah. they rather send aid because that's the way they can keep getting money and keep sending yeah. money, you know. So there is a, there is a, big, there is a corruption on yeah. the global scale. But Africans also have a role to play because a lot of Africans, like our African leaders, are also supporting this corruption where they sell the birthright or the, the resources of the country mm. for incredible amount of money, like really stupid little money because it looks big to them. And they sell this stuff away to other countries like China and other Western countries. And these countries take all this stuff they repackage it, they make it better, and, and then they sell it back to Africans, yeah. which is so stupid. And now, these politicians that are there, they don't get to experience um, racism on the first hand because they're rich, you know, they can go anywhere. They travel with diplomatic passports, and that makes them immune everywhere they go. So they don't have first hand experiences like every other citizen mm. does. And it's about. Um about having control and power over anybody else that is below and that's that's something that is important that that you i think the first thing is to be aware of it yeah to realize what is really going on behind the scenes so what is going on behind the news what is going on behind these different organizations yeah you that have to learn money, yeah you have to learn not to trust money. Not to trust the news completely, yes. 100%. So I think because everybody has an agenda and everybody is trying to make money yeah. in, their, in their own way. Yeah, and especially um, here... I don't, I, I don't have anything against aid or helping people that, no, are, yeah. that are suffering or that are you know, in need. But doing that always and long term... It will not help. You're destroying the yeah. economy more than you are helping the people. Because yeah. what Africans really need is not um, aid. They need job opportunities. And yeah. that's why when they leave their countries, when Africans leave their countries and they come to the West, they're very successful. Because here you have the opportunities and they can put their skills and talents to use. And so the person who was broke and poor when they were back home, they come here and, and they make it because they, they're very smart and they learn very fast and you know, they begin to go, they, they just blow up because now they have the opportunity to explore. Yeah. Another assumption is that once they see both of us together, Somehow they, they imagine, oh, she's probably helping him and he doesn't have anything to do. He's so poor and she's like his salvation, blah, 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 you know, financially. The funny thing about it is that we have a lot of Africans that are breadwinners in their homes. They are the main providers of the homes, yeah. although they're married to white wives. 
For example, now. For example, us. Like, I'm paying majority of the bills, but mostly once you see an interracial couple, most people just imagine the black person is less privileged and is probably very lucky to have this white person who is a savior. Mm. And there's a savior mentality because they're so ignorant. I believe that we both have a role to a, a role to play yeah. when it comes to fighting racism. I think one of them is just by being married, being an interracial couple. I think that is also that's something we believe in that interracial couples, interracial marriages can actually um, be something against racism. It's and a very huge move. Yeah, it's a solution. Like, it's interracial, a solution. like that is not that is. That's not a new solution. In the olden times, when two countries wanted to have peace between each other, they would allow, let's say, the daughter of the king or the son of the king to get married. To the and that would signify a union between both nations. Yeah. Because marriage is very, is very powerful. Yeah. And that's why people are against it. Yeah. When they see a black person and a white person coming together, they have a thousand reasons why that would not work. Yeah. I think also um, being an interracial couple makes you um, united. I mean, marriage in itself is become one. It is, you know, another topic for another video, but it's becoming one. And if two two nations and two different cultures become one, um, it's something so powerful because I think I I believe I'm learning so much from my husband. I'm learning so much from his culture, but on the other hand, he's learning a lot from my culture and from how I grew up. Because the fact is, we need each other. Mm. From my point, um, I believe that as Africans and as Black people, we also have a role to play in presenting a good image of ourselves. Um, for example. Um, wherever you are as a black person, you have to stand for excellence and not corruption, mm. although you're so used to it. Um, you have to fight that everything is just and fair, and you have to also strive for excellence in whatever you do, as most of you are already doing. Um, but also to be aware that whatever thing you do doesn't just affect you, it affects the whole race. Because mm. that's, that's why we are where we are right now, because a couple of a number of people did something bad, now it's saying that everybody is so. Bad, yeah. So for example, if you do something wrong, it doesn't only reflect on you, <laughs> it reflects on the whole race. Like we don't yet have the opportunity of being seen as individuals. When a white person does something bad, people see it as just that white person did something bad. But when a person of color does something bad, it is categorized as something that the whole culture and the yeah. whole race does. On one hand, it's a good thing because it shows how united we are and how connected we are. That people see us as one. That's good. That we are one in itself is good. But to categorize every bad thing that one person does as, every, as something that everybody does, that's a negative part of it. And right now, we're not yet in a place where we can be seen as individuals. So we need to also watch out for what we do because it plays and it affects other, yeah. other pe people and other cultures. We also want to encourage you to be strong wherever you are because it's not a very easy experience to, no, it's not. to go through. But you have to know that it was worse before. <laughs> like people <laughs> fought for actual slavery, you know, of being in bondage. And so we are not where we want to be, but we are not where we used to be. Yeah, that's we true. have moved ahead a lot. And the more we keep bringing, um, bringing this to light and you know, fighting this injustice by our actions, by our words, um, in different ways by being examples of how it looks like to be an African to show that um, As an African, it doesn't mean that you're less because you can also provide Equal opportunities as any other race or color or people and that's that's I think that's where we where we also come in or where I I really need to um, Make people aware about that it does not help Africans if you go there um, on a short term. It's good to help you in there and I understand the heart behind it, I understand why they're doing it, uh, why you go back um, and help or go on mission trips or whatever. Um, I understand that 
but actually what Africa needs, what the Nigerian, for example, needs, in our case Nigeria, needs is that you build a business, you build an opportunity for them to build up, for them to earn the money and to earn the success they need to get up on their own feet. It's not us going in there, providing everything, Having acting as a savior. Yeah, acting like a, savior, like a savior. And then when the time comes, you go back home and have your regular life. That doesn't work. And that's something that we need to understand as Germans or white people or whatever. We need to understand that when we want to change something, we need to think about long-term solutions. And we need to think about, okay, what can I do to change something and to help in a practical way how they can build up their own businesses, okay, how they can build up something that works not only for them but for their great-grandchildren. Um, and that's something that we need to change yeah, and something it's, it's that very we need important. to be aware of, I think. And, I, and it's also important to know, to say this, that you cannot love the resources of a place and hate the people. Yeah. Okay? You can't love the African resources or, or like, let's say, things from other country, but like hate the people. Because that's, that's stupid. It's like you want their mm -hmm. stuff, but you don't want them. Yeah. You know? And as, as, as black people, I also feel like we have a very big role to, to play in our own countries. Yeah. Because most Africans that come to Europe or the West are looking for a better opportunity, better economic opportunity, place to make more money or place to make a living for themselves. Because, for example, in Nigeria, we have a lot of youths that have finished their universities, they studied, they're very educated, but have no job opportunity. And so the only solution for, for them is to cross the ocean. And come here. And come here. Yeah. Just look for a place to work and earn money to take care of themselves. But we have such a corrupt government that I feel like as Africans we can do more to pull down these governments that are making our countries and our nation look so bad. Mm -hmm. And as a young person, I want you to begin to think about it and, and ask yourself, how can I be a part of taking away corrupt um, rulership yeah. or the corrupt government in my country? Because we can't just be saying, um, things would get better without being part of making it better. That's why this was something that, that is also really good um, to do, travel. Um, if you haven't traveled, <laughs> if you're not in an interracial couple or interracial marriage and you've never seen something else than you know, your own country, go out and travel. It will open up your mind, it will open up your perspective. Um, for me, um, it opened up my mind. It opened up my, my perspective and how I saw things. So for us Germans, it's important to, that we travel into different cultures and into different um, nations and to different countries because that's how um, we're gonna see and we're gonna experience what is really going on and um, can really raise up awareness yeah. about different things. Traveling is very important it's because really, it yeah. it helps you to discover things that the news will not show you. Yeah things that you would not learn in books. Yeah. Right now, you might feel like you can play a role, yeah. but in your children, you can begin to teach them to see all races as equal and not to see themselves themselves as better than others just because of their color. Because, or because of yeah. how they speak. Yeah. Or because kids, kids don't become racism by birth. They're, they're taught. Yeah. As kids, they play with everyone, but the older ones that have this distorted and twisted mentality plants those hatred and those thoughts in those kids and then they grow up to believe something that is not true just because their parents said that's how it works yeah. now they've never asked anything about it they've never challenged it they just believed it because kids will believe anything an older person says or a parent says mm -hmm. so even as a parent you have a huge impact in changing the world for good by starting with your own family and your own kids yeah um I think that's 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 okay yeah, for now. I think today we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop here for now. Um, we probably have other topics to talk about. But yeah, if you have comments and questions or contributions, please, yeah, please. or if you have um, suggestions on what we should talk about, like things we should address, please just post it in the comment section below. Do not forget to subscribe. Yeah. And like. 
We would like to hear from you guys as well. So this is not only what we talk about. It's not something that we want to do. Of course, we want to bring it in into our home and into who we are and our relationship. But we want to hear from you guys and your experiences. If we can help, please contact us. Um, we really want to help in either way. We yeah, can. you can be. We um, just we just want to be involved with you. And so yeah. it's not just our opinions that are being shared. Yeah, definitely. So I believe that a lot of you have like experiences that you would like to share and a lot of truthful content that could help us as a couple and also help this channel. Yeah, so feel free to comment and just um, yeah be in, like be, in, be, be in contact with us yeah hit the like button and uh, subscribe share the video if you would like to please do that and we will see you guys next time see you soon bye we love you